What's up everyone, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, bringing you Nature of the Beast, red, green, white. At first glance, I think this deck's gonna be my jam. Three oversized foil commander cards, just like all the rest, 15 original new cards. You have your 100 card deck. Marath, Will of the Wild is, uh, is the master of aggressive beasts. This commander focuses on large creatures, impressive spells paired with the mana acceleration to cast them quickly. Very, very cool. So are these uh, commander products? Can they have you interested in learning commander? They do for me. I got this from my uh, local game universe. They're a local chain here. And then I totally forgot I pre-ordered off eBay, so I got a second box. I'll probably have to sell or something. But here's your commander. It starts out 0-0. Zero, zero. You can cast it for red, green, white. Let's zoom in a little bit. When it enters the battlefield with the number of 1-1 one, one counters on it equal to the amount of mana cast this is to, or spent to cast it, right? So the more times you cast it, the bigger it gets. You can pay X. Here we go. This is where it gets fun. Remove X 1-1 one, one counters, choose one, put X 1-1 one, one counters on target creature, or deal X damage to her target creature or player, or put an XX green elemental creature token on the battlefield. I absolutely love the versatility of this card. Um, in the commander game where things change, things can get out of control uh, pretty quickly. I like options, baby. Here's our other two options at Commander, the Honored One, and uh, Mael the Anima. Kind of looks like her head's like on a platter at some fancy medieval dinner, and they're eating sushi off her, her off or something. It's out here. You have your Commander deck. Yes, it's been a long weekend. My jokes are terrible, 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 whatever you want to call them. I've been putting out so many videos lately, I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to taking a little break for uh, Journey into Nyx, Born of the Gods. She'll probably be here quicker than I imagined. It's been a whirlwind, guys, and uh, it's been fun having you along for the ride. So here we have our commander. And I'll go over the rares. I mean, again, you know, you can look up every single card that's in these decks. Very cool. Just trying to give you an idea. Ravenous Balath. A little bit of idea of what's in here. If you're a Gruul guy or gal, this deck's probably for you. Spellbreaker Behemoth. Uh, Gaiji, Honored One. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like kind of tough to hold this. Kind of tough to hold this deck in just one hand, if you know what I mean. Magus of the Arena. Rampaging Ballast Mythic. For 25 bucks, man, you just get some really cool cards here. Avenger of Zendikar. Try to regrip. So which one of these are you guys gonna get? Or are you is this make you want to play Commander more? Eternal Dragon. Naya Soul Beast. Here's your Soul Ring. Drudic Satchel. It's a satchel, not a purse. There's Skittles in there. Seer's Sundi Sundial. Tower of Fortunes. I love Naya. I love it. Uh, it's just my favorite colors to draft, at least currently. Not so much in uh, Theros, though. Where the Ancients Tread. Very cool looking card. Witch Hunt. Mystic Barrier, Warstorm Surge, Spawning Grounds, really awesome. Boros Charm, so funny how these uncommon charms are just so damn powerful they, they could see play in like any formats, you know? They're just so ridiculous. Boros Charm and Commander's gotta be insane. There's Naya Charm. Little Street Spasm. Fiery Justice. Just this art is really cool. From the Ashes. 
tempt with discovery. I wonder if there's these tempt uh, a thing like ordeals because I thought I saw tempt with immortality in a different deck, right? Must have been wrath of God. Oh yeah, all right, <laughs> very cool. One dozen eyes. Really, just really cool. We're in our guild gates, our command tower. The land packages are very similar in all of them. They pretty much relate to the, you know, cards that you have. Here's a homeward path. Jungle shrine. Very cool. Naya panorama. Your guild gates and yeah, you can make you know. Sh see, shocklands matter less in this, right? You know, I mean, you want f utility in your lands. It's from what I can tell. Here's V2 Gazi. So many of these. Vivid Craig and into regular. The regular regularity cards. Well, that is Nature of the Beast. That is Naya. That is probably. From a gameplay standpoint, maybe one of the easier ones to play or to understand the deck. I don't want to overstep my bounds, so Naya people don't get pissed off. So far, my favorites are probably uh, Nature of the Beast, Mind Seas, and probably Power Hungry. Um, not, you know, I'm all I like them all. I think they're a great product, and like I've said in almost all the videos. You really can't go wrong if you if you're getting them for the 25 bucks or whatever that they're supposed to be 20 or 25. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to chat with me about anything Magic the Gathering related, please feel free to tweet me at MTG Headquarters. I answer most relevant tweets. If you want to talk about Commander, please post your comments down below or your thoughts on this deck and how to improve it. There's a huge Commander community that that's a part of this channel's. Um, community i guess i'll say again uh, community community so i'm um, they're all very helpful so if you have questions about commander post them down below and i'm sure they'll get answered and uh if you're new to the channel i hope i earned your subscription thanks for watching us and we'll talk to you again real soon i really hope you enjoyed this video check out some of our most popular playlists everything from mtg vlogs gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.